Hi. Okay, so I think I found a solution. I'm just gonna go with this because the only way that I can really deal with my hair is if I twist it on the side. I'm going to um, just start talking because this is gonna be a little bit of a vlog. This is probably gonna be stuff that's being reiterated that I've already talked about with friends or seen in other videos. So it's nothing really new, but I decided I'm gonna just talk about it anyway because why not? I'm gonna go in with my um, foundation from The Ordinary today. This is their Serum Foundation in 3-1-Y. We're first gonna go in with this just because it's a very light foundation. It's not heavy on my skin. I'm not going out today. I might go out to get some food later. Yeah, it blends into the skin. It's really buildable and it oxidizes really well too. But anyways, I wanted to talk about um, like the reason why like what's the reason why we're all having festivals as of recently? And don't get me wrong, I recently did go to a concert that was in Texas. Um, it wasn't big though, it was pretty, honestly, it was pretty small. That was um, before a lot of that stuff was happening or going on and being spread everywhere. So I got my concert fix in until like things get better, of course. But yeah, I was able to go to my first rock concert and it was a date it was really cute honestly i had um a lot of fun um i saw the pictures from the Lollapalooza festival and it kind of scared me i was like oh i didn't know that they were still doing festivals and stuff at full capacity even though people are vaccinated regardless if you're vaccinated or not um like wow and a lot of people were saying that they were just asking for people's vaccination cards, which I'm pretty sure you can forge those really easily too. As far as my stance on everything, here's what I think, and I don't have a strong opinion. I think, I feel like my only opinion on the vaccinated versus unvaccinated is like, if you're not vaccinated, just make sure that you wear a mask and take more precautions, I feel like. Even though, yes, vaccinated people should still be taking precautions and we definitely are, but I'm just saying like, if you aren't vaccinated, I would be afraid not to be taking precautions if I wasn't vaccinated. Like I would be doing everything that I was doing before. Like I would honestly still be going out a lot less. Um, but when I got vaccinated, I definitely started going out a little bit more. Like I felt okay again to go out a little bit more and even to travel. So here's what I think. I don't think that people should be banning people from restaurants if they're not vaccinated. Like I feel like everyone has a reason not to be vaccinated and I don't want to put that on anyone and like pressure anyone to, to not get it done. But you, I know that Kingsley made a video on this the other day and my friend Eric said the exact same thing. Like you can't, you can't be unvaccinated and then not be pro mask or something like that. Like you have to pick one or the other. And there are people out there that are just wanting everything to be normal and still not have a vaccine. And this thing is still mutating. And before we know it, even the vaccinated people, pretty soon even vaccinated people aren't going to be safe from what's to come with the other variants that are coming up, I think. Uh, it's not gonna work. So I'm I'm just preparing like mentally for that too. It honestly really sucks. But what can we do, you know? Um, I personally feel like as far as like traveling goes because you're stuck in an airplane for I don't know how many hours. In my opinion, I feel like unvaccinated people should not be traveling on airplanes because the air just circulates. If you're in a restaurant, you're only there for a little bit and it's not as crowded. There's a lot more air circulation in a restaurant versus an airplane where you're all the way up in the air. So that's that's my opinion. I'm not saying it to be divisive or anything. I'm just saying it because it just makes sense in my opinion as far as like actually flying on an airplane because you can also make the tables spread apart. You're not like right next to someone. But again, I think airplanes are different. I feel like there's not always a necessity for constant travel unless it's your job. And at that point, they would probably make you get vaccinated if you're working like in an airline or something like that. Or I would, I would honestly hope so just for your safety and everything and for everyone else's safety. But yeah, we don't know what everyone else's health conditions are. So I'm not talking about forcing people to get the vaccine. I'm just saying like, there's just certain things that people are doing that don't have it that is weird. And like a lot of my friends that are vaccinated are also getting sick. So obviously everyone's getting affected by this. So 
the thing is, if a lot of vaccinated people are getting sick right now, I would be very afraid um, to be going out and being reckless if I wasn't vaccinated. So, but there are people obviously that are vaccinated that are staying safe. I'm assuming like there's not, not everyone's going crazy or anything. And I know like that's the stigma that's going around right now, which isn't okay. But as I said, wear your mask and everything and probably don't travel on an airplane and feel like it's safe to do so because of the circulation there. I honestly, there's been times where I've just gotten sick being on an airplane before because of that reason. So just um, be smart about that. Like we can't act like everything is normal like before. And I do care about you guys' safety as well. Like I'm not trying to call anybody out or anything that's watching me that isn't vaccinated. Like I really don't care or anything. Like I feel like I'm safe for now. <laughs> like if I happen to get like sick from it or something and get, um, COVID or anything, I will be fine. Um, so at least for now, how things are. But I mean, in the future, you never know how that can progress or anything, but I will be fine for now. Um, I'm just saying like this whole mutation thing is a bit scary. And I hope that we don't go back to the way that things were from before. Like that's my only fear. I would hope that wouldn't be, I hope that wouldn't be the case or anything. Oh yeah, I'm using the hourglass. Um, powder, I love that stuff so much. I'm gonna go in with glossy and the rest of my face. Um, like even though that, that I am vaccinated, I would not be going to festivals right now with a lot of people. Um, that's just me. That's a lot of people to be around um, all at once, like thousands and thousands and thousands of people um, just kind of stuck together and not knowing if, you know, they're, they're good or not, you know, like if they're not sick or anything. So that's, Another thing, I don't think we should be having those events this soon, at least not festivals. Like we can slowly get into things again, maybe, but with all these variants going around, it's making everyone a little bit uneasy and I can definitely see why. So yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think we're gonna go into another lockdown like how it was before. I feel like there was so much money that was lost because of it that even if things get bad, they're not gonna stop people from going out, which could also be a bad and dangerous thing. I don't know. I really don't know. And like people can't afford not to work anymore. So that's not gonna work out. And I know that they don't wanna give out any more stimulus checks. So there's already like mayors and stuff refusing to put any more like rules in place to help stop the spread of it. So I just feel like no one wants to lose any more money and money's on people's mind more than people's safety and health. So we're, we're just gonna see how things kind of just go from here. Um, and also like, <laughs> I didn't really wanna talk about the babies. His name is just so interesting to me. Anyways, I didn't wanna talk about him, but that was just interesting and in how he, for those of you guys that don't know the story, it was some festival or some festival that he was um, performing at and, or he was brought up on stage at. And he said some things about people having HIV. He said some very, uh, homophobic things on stage as well and that was very hurtful and he thought that there wouldn't be any consequences for that and thought that it was okay and now he's being banned or like he's not being allowed to perform at like what four different festivals that he was signed up to perform at now he's deciding to apologize out of the blue it's not just him i feel like a lot of celebrities do this really really toxic and untrue things and he was just kind of just kind of just spouting that information around i don't understand what it is with celebrities this year and even last year and them saying stuff and then all of a sudden pulling back whenever they get backlash like it makes sense obviously but it's just really annoying this isn't the time to put out negative stuff like that and not expect to see any consequences. You don't wanna lose money right now while we're in a pandemic and that's exactly what he did. And now he's like backtracking and at first, he wasn't even sorry for it. He was literally mocking people saying, or just to show how not sorry he was. And that did not work out for him at all. So I just thought that was really interesting, I guess. Oh, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. Although I feel like the brush that I'm using isn't that great right now. Yeah, I feel like for everyone that's on social media or anyone that has a platform, really think about what you're talking about and what you're putting out there because this is not the time. Everyone's on edge right now. Companies will not want to work with you if you're doing something that's really problematic or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can't just get out there and say stuff anymore like you want to. I just feel like everything that he was doing on stage was very unnecessary and it was definitely just to get attention. Like there was no point. Um, 
and it just backfired on him. And this is what a lot of celebrities I feel like have been dealing with as of recently. Like they're finally getting, uh, I don't want to say the word canceled, but it literally, it, it is canceled. <laughs> I just want to say like, they're finally seeing the consequences for their actions. Like you're not above anyone. Your fans are the ones that have made you and you probably offended some former fans of yours. And you really can't come back from that after doing that. I don't think that even his his apologies... Um, I don't even think that his apologies are sincere, obviously. He didn't apologize for anything until he got uh, stuff taken away from him. So no one's going to believe his apology anyway. It doesn't make any sense. And he tried to apologize and like put out this statement. And just no one's going to believe it, basically. I'm going to use the ColourPop palette called Lil Ray of Sunshine. I haven't used this palette yet, uh, like at all. So I'm gonna, this is a more matte palette. It's definitely, ooh, it's really yellow too. Like lots of yellows and browns in this in this one. Um, yeah, I feel like that's all I wanted to say there. I've also been watching a lot of Love Island recently, like the newest season. Um, and I've, I'm fully caught up because I'm watching it on CBS. I know everyone's trying to like get it on Paramount and stuff, but I'm not. I'm not giving into that just yet. I am already subscribed to way too many things and there's really, really no point. There's just no point in subscribing to that. So I'm not gonna do that. Ooh, I guess another good topic, I'm just doing mini topics today. Topics that have already been talked about by other people that I just have not talked about yet, which I did, I did talk about the whole BBL thing before, but it was from a different perspective. It was more so to say like, it wasn't really about people like dying and stuff from it. It was mostly about um, if you really want that type of attention from other people or are you just doing it for yourself? And I, I know whenever I give up my opinion on certain things, I'm very much not leaning on to just one side. I like to see all sides and so I'm not trying to obviously offend anyone or I'm not for it or against it or anything. It's really what you want to do. Um, but I know I have been seeing a lot of people lately just talk about how there are more deaths and stuff and I, there are two sides like I follow people I follow a lot of people that have actually gotten BBLs and it's not like I follow them because of that it's like I've already been following them and then they decide to get one so really not a big deal to me or anything what I will say is that my friend Eric who I was talking to about the other stuff like with the festival stuff and like the vaccine um he had a client, he works at like a high-end retail store. So one of his clients that got a BBL like in March, she ended up recently passing away from it. And I don't know, I don't know if she got it from a person that wasn't reputable, but no for sure she definitely had money to like spend on it. And I'm sure she did her research. Regardless of it, um, There's all, there can always be complications. I, I don't really know too much about it, but like if the fat ends up, does it end up hardening or something? Or something happens with the fat that goes wrong in your body and it's kind of scary that that can be a complication. Here's my thing, I'm not against plastic surgery at all. Um, I think if you're doing it for yourself and that's exactly what you want to do, then do it. And I think um, there is stuff that people get done that looks really good and that's my stance on it. Um, now what I will say is for people to be careful because this is becoming a trend on TikTok and everything like that and everyone's trying to get it be careful because I know uh, it's not even just with plastic surgery, but with everything on TikTok, people end up wanting to try different trends when it comes to even like food or like hair or makeup, look up recommendations that people have like tried or have gotten and then they try it themselves. And so this is happening with plastic surgery. Um, and in this case, more so BBLs, which is a trend right now like having a big butt and ooh, i just messed up on my eyeliner having a big butt and big thighs that is a trend at the moment it's been a trend for a minute now um but yeah it is a trend at the moment uh i think i talked about it before i do obviously uh i do obviously have a big butt and big thighs at least for my proportions and stuff but I've always had that, so I, I don't know what it's like not to have that. But I've also always had really small boobs, so I don't really have the whole package like what people think. Like, that's not the case. I don't think that anyone's built that perfectly. Perfectly. And if they are, it's it's usually like 
genetics or something. And the reason why I also wouldn't get a boob job is because a lot of the people that I do follow, and I didn't follow them for this reason, but they did end up getting boob jobs, and then they end up getting their boob jobs taken out because of breast implant illness. And that's a thing, and it, I didn't realize that it could affect you mentally as well as physically um, with the chemicals that kind of like end up leaking out or whatever implant they put in your body. It's not gonna be a permanent thing. Like, I didn't realize, and it, it makes sense, like, but I just didn't think about having to get your implants like replaced and everything and like getting that checked on and how it can affect your body in the long run. That's why I never really considered getting a boob job after seeing all that. Okay, I'm back with my lashes. I'm gonna take some really cute Instagram stories today. Anyways, yeah, I've seen BBLs that look good. I've seen some that don't look good because the thing is with BBLs like the butt doesn't match the thighs a lot of the time and if you have small thighs Sometimes it doesn't look as natural and that's okay if, you, if you're also Realizing that you, that you're not gonna have a natural look too. That's also completely fine, especially if you're okay with that That's fine, too But you have to ask yourself. Oh, okay. Like for some people is it worth the risk? You know, like to go through all that and then have it not work out or like honestly have health complications and then have also have it not look the way that you want it to look. Like some people that do have a BBL are saying, oh, like there's not that much health complications or people are exaggerating it. Then there are other people saying there are a lot of health complications that go with this surgery. And so I'm just kind of sitting back and watching everything kind of play out and hopefully the trend kind of dies down a little bit. I know, and I talked about this in my other video, that Instagram def definitely plays a part in feeling like you have to look a certain way, even like a filter. I'm talking about like facial feature wise, everything. And how people expect you to look like a filter in person. You shouldn't need to have those expectations on your own natural face. Like, there's just some things that you can't do with makeup and that's fine, like, I don't know. Unless it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time and you're not gonna have any health complications from it, really. And it's something that you're doing for you and not for a distorted view of yourself that you've been seeing from your Instagram, then that's cool. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot. I. Wish there weren't that many people like dying from getting surgery and uh, you can't really blame people for wanting to get the surgery either because there's so much pressure on us, especially as women to look a certain way. And I feel like also, and I'm not saying that we try to look this way just for guys, but there are some people that do think that that's important in how they look in front of guys and guys I feel like are also having those expectations now. Like they want a big butt, they want a small waist, they want, a certain figure as well and that's I feel like also adding to the pressure so I don't also I don't want to just blame people for getting it it's literally a mindset a mental issue that people are going through and it's just really sad so I personally don't feel like I have a right to blame people I really feel like I jumped over a lot of topics today I hope I made sense I think I was pretty much rambling for the most part mostly because I haven't done this in a very long time so I hope that you guys Still like this video, it's literally the same makeup as I usually do, but at least my hair was different today. I'm gonna go take some pictures now, and hopefully they turn out good. So uh, yeah, I hope that you guys liked this video, and I hope that I gave some insight to all the topics that have been kind of up in the air lately. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.